Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the Pacers Rebuild series here on the channel. Now, last episode, we made our first trade. We saw how the trade panned out against the Hornets. We got a dub against the Hornets. Fix the quarters, don't worry, this episode has seven minute quarters. Now, I talked about last episode what we'd be doing this episode. In this episode, we're playing on the day before Halloween, Halloween Eve, and we're going against the Toronto Raptors, and maybe we're going to show them something scary, like a 60-point game. I'm just kidding. I don't think I'm going to score 60 with somebody, but... We are going to be playing the Raptors in this game, and then we will be sim casting this game and this game and this game. And then we're going to end the episode there because next episode, I have something special planned. You guys may have an idea of what it is. Maybe you won't, but uh, yeah, next episode is going to be pretty cool. The Mad Ants don't play. I'm trying to see when the Mad Ants play as well because I do want to do a video covering them and look at our G League team, but it does not look like they play for a while. I think that will be on the episode after this. So... My, my plan is this episode three right now what we're doing right now raptors episode four kings episode five will be against the philadelphia 76ers not giving you a reason why it just it might it things might happen all right we're here against the raptors you already know that team i think you should know that team scotty barnes probably going to be rookie of the year they have a really nice team let's jump into it now the raptors have a little bit of a better record we did lose to them earlier this week they're four and two we're three and three we're you know sitting right at 500 here we are the eighth seed in the eastern conference so we're not doing too bad but as you can see chicago and philadelphia are right under us why did they not give me the jump ball okay that was strange i didn't even get to see the jump ball but two really good teams are under us so i don't know how long we'll even stay in the playoff picture my goal is not to make playoffs this year uh you know, maybe we make playoffs. We have a little bit of a disappointing run, uh, but I don't see us anywhere close to the finals anytime soon. And I mean it this time. All right. I know I said that in the Magic series and then I had to end it short and we ended up winning the championship in year two. That's not happening this year. All right. I promise you it ain't happening this year. This series will end up being much, much longer uh, than the Magic series, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that, but yeah, I have I have things planned. So this series will definitely not end unless you know it gets way too close to 23 and we got to end it but i don't i think i'll get this done before 23 i want to be able to do at least one more my league series before the year's over but i'm not going to rush to try to finish this anytime soon either malcolm brogdon you you want to do some things to freddie oh yeah you do you want to cross him up and dunk on his head we get the first basket of the game 2-2 here malcolm brogdon you know probably my favorite no i'm just kidding he's not my favorite player on this team my favorite player on this team is miles turner now i've seen some comments saying that tj warren is a bum in 2k yeah yeah he is but i don't want to get rid of him right away uh but you know we might have some things planned on his departure here soon uh sabonis work on scotty barnes he's a rookie get a little pump fake action going and man we suck on offense we really do like i don't have a single player i can just go to for offense and score and honestly the raptors are having that issue right now as they only got four but man we don't have a single player who i can just be like all right you hold the ball and you score. Why did Karis cut? I was trying to keep you on the corner, my boy. Now, I put the quarters, you know, to seven minutes to make it longer so it doesn't feel like these games are way too short. And it's still only 8-2. Apparently, I don't know how to score. It's rough. I wish I knew how to score. Uh, but Brogdon might be my only hope at scoring toilet boy. Okay, it fell. It fell. We got four with Brogdon. Brogdon, our point guard, our point leader, our point man. You know, he gets the buckets for us. Other than that, man, it's going to be rough to get some buckets, especially against this team. Siakam, Scotty Barnes, both pretty good defensively. And I like to score with my big men, and I don't think that's going to be able to uh, be as easy. But Gary Trent, can you guard? No, you can't. But I can't shoot either, man. I'm so bad on next gen. We're having a fairly close game here. We're only down one at the first. A little upsetting that's 10 to 9, man. I don't know why these quarters... Just nobody can seem to score. Civi pulls an awful three. That's probably why no one can score. Karis LeVert on the fast break. Can he get... Come on. It's Fred Van Vliet. If you can't, I can't score on Fred. He's short, and I can't score on him. This is upsetting. Uh, we're bad at offense. Hashtag little coding sucks at 2K. My entire starting unit is tired because they have yet to be subbed out. I think we're about to sub out all five. Uh, good job, TJ Warren. Take it all the way to the rack. Nice, tough layup. Gets it to go. We're up 13 at the end. Or up 13. Wow, no, we're up three at the end of the first, and none of my guys have even got subbed out. So the second quarter might be rough as, oh, my, oh, Fred, he's just built different. 
We got it. It's time. It's the second quarter. TJ McConnell, THT, all in. Can I get an oop right here? No, I can't. I don't know how to time the oop meter. I'm bad at the game. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. These would be... Oh, my God. Siakam pulling a three. No way. Dorde shoving people away for that board. Townhorn Tucker mid-range. Man, dude, you suck, THT. Uh, he'll get better over time. I'm not worried. Uh, TJ McConnell, why are you guarding Siakam? Actually, better question. Why is Siakam? their point guard right now it's a tied game here 15 uh 15 five minutes left in the second who just fouled but just miles turner what are you doing you're just fouling to foul at this point turner i'm taking you out isaiah jackson this is a tough game man we're not losing per se but we're not doing that great kendrick nunn can you get the tough finish you can't get the layup to go we're missing layups we're not playing defense you got og in the corner for three he missed if he gets his own rebound i'm crying okay thank goodness tj mcconnell you exist let's take it all the way to the layup you still can't you shoved a man down you sh just put scotty barnes on the floor and you still don't make that and siakam pulling three in our face too bad he also kind of sucks none i'm giving you one more shot to try to hit a just kidding we got miles turner in the corner cannot shoot it once again he has one of them tonight but since then he hasn't hit one and it's it's kind of stressful because i need him to shoot he's probably my best shooter besides dorte but i don't like dorte's release very much and that's an issue scotty but you are not posting up miles turner what are you doing what that was a silly move a silly, silly move. Dorde, splash it out, man. Please make that. Oh, my God. This team is so bad. Once again, I still don't understand why they like to have my big men or my small dudes get guarded by my big man. Talonhorn Tucker, another three. We cannot hit from outside. Uh, why are my subs taking so long to be put in? Gary Trent Jr. misses the three. Okay, I was about to say, that is wide open. If he doesn't make that, and he didn't, but... Oh my, Talonhorn Tucker, once again, I still don't know how to, the dunk meter sucks. All right, whoever decided to put a dunk meter in 2K, I don't like that decision. Gary, if you make this, okay, he made, oh, we're down. We're down, we're down seven, I'm bad. And they're bringing in Freddie, and I'm bringing in Isaiah Jackson. Oh, Isaiah Jackson, you know, he's now in the game. He had some two crazy dunks last game, so hopefully he keeps it up. Kind of gets to be our spark off the bench, you know, our last resort. I really need him to be that right now. Because the team, not looking very hot. What's up, Kem Birch? You can't shoot. I know you. We're locking them up. Freddy pulling from damn near half, and it's an air ball. Now, this team has a lot of issues, mainly because our superstar doesn't really feel like a superstar uh, in Sabonis. Isaiah Jackson, I'm not even there, man. I don't know. I don't know where you're setting that screen. I need to pass the ball or something, but nobody's open. We'll give it to Isaiah He'll go down low. He'll put it up. Okay, he didn't put it up. He gets his rebound, though, and he gets him to... Oh, my God, Isaiah Jackson. You're so beautiful. You're beautiful. I love you. Isaiah Jackson might be the future of the Pacers. I don't know about you, but he is a beast for us. Give me another dunk, Isaiah Jackson, coming off the bench and being what we need. Dude, I did not expect Isaiah Jackson to be my favorite part of this Pacers series. Yep, already my favorite Pacer player all time, Reggie Miller. Miles Turner, slide over. Oh my God, another block. Thank you. Thank you for existing, Isaiah Jackson, because without you, I don't I don't know what I'd do. Here, you want to pull a three? You can't shoot threes. Okay, okay, that's a little too much there. I got a little too excited for my boy Isaiah. He cannot, he can't shoot. Sivvy, why are you already tired? Oh, that's why, because you're taking dumb shots. I'd be tired of taking dumb shots too. Look at this mismatch we got real quick. Look at this mismatch. Isaiah Jackson was getting guarded by Freddy. Then he got a screen. He rolled perfectly. Another dunk for Isaiah Jackson. I think he's leading us in all scoring. He just came off the bench. You know, coach didn't even want to put him in. He already has six. Talon Horton Ducker. What was that? How did that go to... What? All right. I think the Raptors, they got some magic powers going on because... That should not happen, all right? That shouldn't. Talonhorn Tucker, for some reason, you're my power forward. I don't want that. Come here, Isaiah. Give me a screen. Give me a screen. Yup, yup, perfect, perfect. We're gonna, we're gonna make him get a little confused. Kemp Birch, where are you going? We get a foul. We didn't get the basket, but I'll take a foul. Let's go to the line. All right, big dog. Show me what you got at the free throw line. Oh, he actually can shoot free throws. He's the 22nd pick, and this man is playing, like, number two overall. Maybe not number one, you know, because he doesn't have, like, 30 at half. But he got, he got eight at half. All right, I like this kid. I think uh, he's going to get a lot of minutes going forward once we trade some bonus. And Freddie, last second shot. We're going into halftime, down one. 
I upped the quarters and we're still scoring barely. Halftime is over and the starters are back in. I already miss Isaiah Jackson because he's a beast. Swinging out to Karis. Karis, can you hit that? He does off of a terrible release. Three points for Karis Levert. Look at us taking that lead. Gary Trent Jr., what's good? You're not doing nothing. You got way too many tattoos. None of them even look cool. Actually, maybe they do. I, I can't really see what exactly he has. Is Freddie, I don't know what that shot was, man. That was pretty bad let's get a little brogdon action go crazy with it brogdon i believe he's small you know what you know what you're small freddy you're small too little too okay okay not too little apparently you can play defense down low there were other like there were like three other dudes right there so i'm not even bugging yeah the raptors are hitting a three every single possession like they're cooking us now Kara silver he is two already in this quarter and we're gonna try to get him some more here because look at that bad double that's another one nine points for karis levert three threes he is scorching hot coming out of halftime right now for us and i'm also bringing in isaiah jackson because miles turner is having a rough night i still love you miles but you're not having the greatest offensive or apparently defensive that was all the block dude all ball the raptors won't stop nailing threes on my dome it's actually a little upsetting here because they are up now up a good amount but brogdon he can shoot right yep pulling it nails it he got seven in the game we're still down six but as long as we can bounce back and hit them threes we might have a chance at coming back here it's not a crazy lead we've been switching the leads back and forth we got this pacer nation we'll be fine gary trent jr he's uh, actually had a pretty good game but he's tired he got gatorade symbol and he's getting guarded by karis lavert let's go karis lavert you are now known as the lockdown goat uh i don't know where to go here where do we go here i don't know hey let's get a screen sabonis give me that saboner yep saboner oh no oh no this is this is not going good isaiah jackson when all hope is lost we go to you uh maybe not but karis lavert gets fouled at the line and we're going uh, you know straight to the line getting our first points that aren't a three-pointer with karis lavert he's averaging about 13 on the season shooting 81 percent from the free throw line which makes sense because he nailed both of these a shout out to you karis lavert now i think i've decided isaiah jackson greatest center of pacers history i mean this dude already has four blocks for me as we get reached on by Boucher. I was going to hit Sabonis for a wide open three. Why does that look like KG on the bench? Is that Lloyd Pierce? Is Lloyd Pierce the uh, assistant head coach? Or not assistant head coach, but is he the assistant coach for them? Isaiah Jackson, you already know. I got the moves down low. Let's put it up. Okay, okay. Maybe not the moves down low. It's fine. It's fine. You don't miss every shot you're going to take or else, you know, that would be no fun as OG gets a dunk we're down six yeah isaiah jackson he's he's the chosen one he simply is i mean he's just he's a beast and i can't make a dunk with lever i can't make a dunk with everyone like i've missed more dunks than i have threes this game do you know how sad that is very sad i just don't know how to do it as i could have swore if they made that i was gonna have to uh, start crying fred van vliet almost just you know ruined my day it's a bonus nice screen tj warren goes for the layup at least it wasn't a dunk either way that probably would have been a missed shot because if it's a dunk we know i'm not making no dunks if it's a layup well at least we get blocked and not embarrassed because i can't make a dunk and freddy keeps pulling down two as the third quarter is winding down uh we should be okay isaiah jackson comes flying out of nowhere and gets the foul i'm gonna sub him out and bring him back sometime in the fourth but we don't really need him right now as he's tired and he, he's put up a lot of points and i think he has four or five blocks so i'm gonna give him the well needed rest we're down for 23 seconds left uh, i brought in the bench unit here care silver he's scorching hot you know at least from three so i'm gonna keep him in there miles turner can you can you do some big man things and make a layup good job i'm so proud of you miles turner thank you for that we're only down two i hate that the games are still so low scoring uh you know i'm gonna maybe try 10 minute quarters tj mcconnell oh my god yes last second oh dude Dorde over him green bean at the buzzer gives us the lead man if this was the fourth quarter that would have been crazy but unfortunately it's only the third quarter we're not getting no crazy ending right now it's time for the fourth quarter this is where things get down and dirty and crazy Dorde wide open for three give me that green bean six points for my boy uh you know everyone else is fine everyone's okay i guess i don't know why i call everyone my boy but i do apparently we're home i'm homies with the whole page i am their coach 
So it, it would make sense. You want to have a good coach-player relationship. Goran Dragic just sauced me, and Boucher almost just made that three. I hate, by the way, just want to put this out there, when players do that weird, awkward flinch animation when they miss a shot or, you know, they take a terrible shot, they, like, flinch. Like, someone's about to hit them. They're like, oh, I can't see the ball go towards the hoop. It's ugly. Uh, Kendrick Nunn, by the way, not doing great for us as... Goran Dragic, man, he has fallen from grace. He used to be pretty decent for Miami, and ever since he got traded, he's gotten, like, no playing time. I think it's because he said he doesn't even want to be there. Uh, I can't really remember, but I feel like I haven't seen anything about him this year. As Turner, mismatch on Dragic, just fails miserably. Kendrick, another three, in and out, in and out like the burger joint. We're still up four, though. I'm not stressing. We've uh, started to reel a good game together as Goran Really doesn't want to play for the Raptors because he is hucking up some bad shots. Dorte, get crazy, get saucy with it. Let's uh, let's get this screen that's not going to work because screens rarely work on next gen. How about this screen? Is this screen? Oh, that screen worked. That screen worked very well. TJ McConnell got blocked. It's the final four minutes, and as much as I love Miles Turner, I, I'm putting in Isaiah Jackson. Why are you going to reach out a wide open three? That's the second time the Raptors have done that. Uh, yeah, I put in Isaiah Jackson. He's just he's so good. He's been great for us. So. Uh, yeah, he, he's staying in the game for a little bit longer. Oh, what's good, Sabonis? Oh, off the dribble. Nice little lay. Eight points for the Saboner. Eight and five for Mr. Saboner, actually. And we are up seven against the Toronto Raptors. I don't know why I said it like that. I almost just had another block with Isaiah Jackson. He already has four. I want to get five. Who knows if it will happen? Great screen, great cut. He got Siakam jumping, and he puts the lay in 12 for big man Isaiah Jackson. We have a very sizable lead here as Gary Trent takes a awful three. I thought he was about to nail that, so that was awkward. But, yeah, we're we're up quite a bit. We got Brogdon shooting from the corner and missing, but we're still up. We're still up. With two and a half minutes to go, this game is pretty much wrapped. Siakam, Fred, both have been pulling some awful shots. I mean, they've, they've played so bad. They have been... Probably some of the worst CPU performances I have ever seen, so I'm sorry, Raptors fans, but they've been awful. That one shot doesn't justify it. He's He's been really bad. 31 field goal percentage? Yeah. You know. No. Two minutes to go, and I'd say this game is fairly over, so bonus not shooting that because that would be a really bad decision. I mean, it's seven points, so, I mean, I guess that's not a crazy difference. TJ Warren pulling it over you. Yeah, Freddy, nope. Freddy... I'm sorry. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to disrespect you like that. If I would have made it, I would have fell awful because that would have been embarrassing. Not as embarrassing as losing to the Pacers, though, because they suck, man. This team, so bad. So we got, we got a lot of moves to make. Uh, there will be a move in next episode. That's all I'm going to say, uh, and you'll see what that may be. Is Karis LeVert take it to the lay? Okay, nope. Uh, you know, I'll take the free throws. Chris Boucher, by the way, I was, uh, I think it's his birthday as of the day I'm recording this. So happy birthday to Chris Boucher as he catches the basketball. Uh, I just found out he was homeless and he dropped out of high school and then he still made the NBA. Like, that's amazing, man. I know Jimmy Butler was homeless and made the NBA too and he's had a much better career. But Boucher literally, I mean, he was homeless, got in the NBA, won an NBA championship, got cut two days after, or two weeks after, sorry, like winning. Two weeks after winning a championship, he got cut, got picked up by the Raptors, had a great stint in the G League, ended up winning a second NBA championship, and then got a two-year $13.5 million deal. Like, you know, that's that's crazy. That is some of the craziest NBA story I've ever heard. He's been through a lot, and, you know, it's cool to see him in the NBA having a pretty good year. I mean, not anything crazy, but he's had some good performances. I think he could be a great player on another team, but he's starting to get older. So I guess, you know, I don't know how long he'll be in the league, uh, but he's like, what, 28, 29, I think, today? So, but it's either way, Boucher absolute beast as he gets that rebound every time i talk about him he touches the basketball so that's kind of cool brogdon at the free throw line they had to foul us uh, another really good all-around game for brogdon nine five three oh eight five three because i didn't hold the button long enough but it's fine we get a win seven point game civvy you were not make civvy made that uh i take back everything bad i've ever said about him as they keep fouling brogdon game is a wrap i increased the minutes and somehow it was a lower scoring game than last episode so i don't know i don't really want to have to play on 10 minutes but it might look like that the scoring is crazy crazy low on next gen we end up winning at home against the toronto raptors karis lever with 12 isaiah jackson 
12, 5, and 4. Huge game for him off the bench. Brogdon had 10, 5, and 3. Sabonis had 8, and 8. Duarte had 6, 3, and 2. And Turner had 5, 5, and 3 blocks for them. They sucked really bad. Fred Van Vliet, 5 for 18, led the team in scoring, but was it worth it? Probably not. OG, Gary Trent Jr., Siakam, Scotty Barnes, and birthday boy Boucher. So, you know, not a, not a bad game, but a good win. So I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy with the win. Following our win against the Raptors, it's time to see how we do against the Spurs. It looks like we're going to win this. We're up 14-15. So, I mean, I'm hoping we... Can we hold a lead, please? Thank you. Thank you for going back up. We really can't hold a lead, can we? All right, we're up one. I'm jumping in. I need to protect this lead. How do we blow leads, guys? We are up like 16. 16. And then we just blew another lead. We're only up one now. I mean, we're in the bonus. But you know what? We also have a sub bonus. Ha <laughs> ha. Good. I missed another dunk. I Okay, I need to just never go to the rack again. Threes only from now on. DeJounte Murray, you're going to be an all-star very, very soon, my boy. Maybe not this year, but probably next year drew eubanks what you gonna do out there you big tall pasty white boy you ain't doing nothing out there can you even shoot Derek white can shoot and he can miss as well 15 and 10 for turner what a game for him uh let's not shoot but oh okay i don't know how you didn't i just threw that in your face how did you not catch that mr eubanks kendrick nunn is now in he is 19 off the bench okay ken Okay, Big Kendrick, uh, we're giving a Sabonis here. At, no, we're not. We're giving it to uh, Keldon Johnson. That was not Sabonis. Sabonis also has a double-double. Derek White trying to get to the rack. All five people on the Pacers team just fouled him. And Turner now has five. You missed? You missed? Do you know how important that shot just was, Derek? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. All right, Kendrick Nunn. Let's, uh, let's do this. You got 19. That's kind of crazy. Did not expect you to pop off like this. Let's go to the rack. And you got blocked. Okay, wait a minute. Wait. Uh, <laughs> why did I hop in? This might have cost me to lose. Never mind. He sucks. He can't make a jumper. That's 15 and 11. Karis Levert. We're pulling it from three because we're crazy. We missed. Why would I do that? That was such a dumb idea. Ah, bad ball movement. Bad decisions. Derek White going crazy with it. He pulls the three. He misses the three. We're all good. TJ Warren. What are you about to do for us? Probably not much. You know what, Miles Turner? I I like this. I like this whole pick and fade thing. You? No. No. Yeah, you thought I was going to shoot it. No, I'm going to post him. I'm going to... This is smart basketball. Yup. Nice little post moves. Easy lay. 17. We're up two. What do you think? Like, come on now. I'm not stupid. I was going to do a fadeaway. I'm going to bully that man. I'm going to make him sad. And then I'm going to embarrass him. All right? We're, we're up two. All right? Unless they... They might hit something crazy. I wouldn't be surprised. They're going to DeJounte Murray in the clutch. I've seen this man do crazy things. Come on, DeJounte. You got five seconds, bro. Five seconds, bro. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? You're going to take a contested layup and they miss. We hold on and we get the W. Oh, my God. I thought I was about to choke that. Thad Young dapping up Miles Turner. He used to play with them. They used to be great buds, best teammates. Wow. Okay, hold up. We had a, look at this score, man. Dorte, 25. None with 19. TJ Warren with 17. 17 and 11 for Turner. 12, 5, and 6 for Brogdon. 12 and 12 for Sabonis. And then Levert, it drops off like crazy. Levert has 5. THT has 2. He shot 0 for 5. He is not doing good for us this season. That might have been a bad trade. Uh, McDermott, 25, 18, and 7 for Thad Young. DeJounte Murray, 16, 8, and 6. 14, and 5 for Keldon Johnson. And 12, and 10 for Pasty Eubanks. And 11 for Derek White. He shot 4 for 18. Really, once again shot them out of the game that was embarrassing for you mr Derek white final game of our sim we are gonna go against the portland trailblazers and we look to be doing fine but it's fairly close dame lillard not running from the grind uh you should probably start running bud because you're losing to the pacers by 14. yeah you you should run from the grind you just lost by 13 to tj warren and kendrick nunn Crazy games, 21 for Warren, 20 for Nunn, 18 and 15 for Sabonis, 17 for Levert, Brogdon, 14, 7 and 6. You got Miles Turner with a 12 and 12 game, Townhorn Tucker with 10 and 2. Uh, team's looking really good, looking really, really good. We've had a pretty good season so far, and Simons leading the Trail Blazers. The team's, you know, not awful. We're currently second in the conference, uh, you know, so I don't know if I really want to make any moves, but they're... 
there is a move I want to make because I don't think we'll stay here for much longer. But we are currently seven and three. Uh, we're doing really great. Uh, you know, Karis Lever, he's been playing really good for us. Kendrick Nunn, uh, surprisingly, a great pickup for us off the bench. Uh, a lot of good players. Uh, team's looking good. I'm excited for the future. But you're definitely going to want to see next episode because next episode gets a little crazy i hope you guys enjoyed watching make sure you like up sub up down below and comment down below if you think we're gonna win the finals i know we're not winning the final don't comment that comment down your favorite pacers uniform how about that i hope you guys enjoyed the video as always been your boy little codeine peace out this is the little codeine outro yeah 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 little codeine outro subscribe yeah subscribe you should do it yeah go little codeine subscribe